So we're just going to have a, a bit of a walk into uh, the town centre. But first of all, you can see we're just near Funny Girls. And so I'm not too sure what's going on, but it looks like there's a couple of uh, fire engines um, just outside Funny Girls. And welcome back to a brand new video. So we're starting the video off today just near the uh, North Shore train station. And you can see, let's have a, a quick look around. There's a lot of people just arriving uh, in Blackpool today. So yeah, like I said, uh, welcome back to a, a new video. And the reason being we're starting off today is all to do with Sainsbury's. Now, this store was opened uh, as the flagship of Sainsbury's in 2014, which is 10 years ago. And you can see all the, uh, the boards just uh, near the bottom of the, uh, of the shop. And the reason these boards, they've been here for about a year now. And sadly, the, uh, the bottom layer of the glass uh, is constantly being uh, subject to uh, vandalism and uh, broken glass. So Sainsbury's, they, they did submit two applications um, for like artwork, which would wrap around the uh, the bottom of the uh, the shop. Uh, but unfortunately, they got rejected uh, by the council. Um, basically, they said, you know, it was all spoil, shall I say, the, uh, the art deco of Sainsbury's. Um, and they used the, uh, the delegated powers as it was sort of judged, poor quality design. I mean, the, the, the art, it was, it was like a nice piece of artwork, the, uh, the proposed, but like I said, it was said, you know, it would, uh, it would sadly um, obscure the uh, clear, transparent um, front of the shop. So it's, uh, like I said, at the moment, it's been rejected and apparently there's, uh, there's been two um, applications which has uh, been rejected. Uh, and like I said, this was part of the, uh, the 70 million pound first phase of the, uh, the Talbot Road gateway, uh, which includes all Bickerstaff House and the council offices and things like that. So yeah, just a, a bit of news what has come out. So obviously it's uh, back to the drawing board uh, for Sainsbury's. So we're just gonna have a, a bit of a walk into uh, the town centre, but first of all, you can see we're just near Funny Girls. And so I'm not too sure what's going on, but it looks like there's a couple of uh, fire engines um, just outside Funny Girls. So, uh, like I said, there's no, no activity. There's no uh, pumps or uh, pipes or anything like that going on. But you can see there's a couple just outside Funny Girls. So whether it's a, a false alarm or something, but yeah, who knows? So yeah, we're gonna head on a little into town. And as we sort of venture into town, see that building's been sort of derelict for uh, a couple of the derelicts, been quite a, quite a long time, that one. But if you have a look at the roof, I've just noticed actually, you see, you know, sort of like a third of the roof is actually missing the slates. And uh, look at that. So that's going to be uh, absolutely pouring in the, uh, the rain. And what a shame, because they're magnificent buildings, but yeah, I won't dwell on that too much. So what we'll do, we're going to head towards the, uh, the north side first of all, uh, have a bit of a walk along the, uh, the promenade. I believe the, uh, it's high tide uh, as we speak, so we'll have a, a bit of a look. I don't think the sea's gonna be too choppy, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll carry on. So just uh, just approach the, uh, the north side, so the north pier, and also there's a bit of a, a group of people having a look over at the sea. And I did see like an emergency um, response unit. So we'll have a, a bit of a look and just see exactly what is going on. Um, not sure if anyone's got in, got in trouble or there's a, there's a situation, but there's a, there's a bit of a, a crowd now growing. So let's go and have a, a bit of a look. And uh, you can see straight away the Coast Guard is out. So we'll have a, have a, a bit of a look. So, if someone's uh, 
sadly gone into trouble a little bit. And uh, you can see the Coast Guard just going out. So I don't think it's a practice one. So uh, yeah, some something's uh, something's gone on. You see the uh, the tide is in, but it's not it's not too bad to be fair. And uh, you see the. Uh, and the lifeguards just uh, certainly zooming along um, there. So it looks like they're, uh, they're hovering around sort of North Pier. So I'm not too sure. I mean, it's not a training day. I'm not too sure exactly, like I said, uh, what has happened. But if we do find out, we'll certainly bring that to you. So we're just at the, at the back of the um, Christmas by the sea. So we dropped, uh, dropped down a level. And uh, we're gonna make our way over towards the, uh, the central pier. But you can see the, uh, the tide is in and it's lovely and calm. But again, it's just that nice crashing noise you know, against, the, uh, against the steps. And you can see central pier straight ahead. There goes the, uh, the lifeguard again. So I don't think he's training, but I might be wrong. It's Saturday, so normally it's a Wednesday training. You can see they're uh, whipping along the uh, shorelines. Possibly might be training. Who knows? So we pop back onto the, uh, the promenade and you can see it looks like there's a uh, roadworks underway just opposite the uh, the golden mile amusements and uh, you see all these uh, all these cars parked so all these are to do with the uh, rnli so it just makes you wonder you know is it a training day today because uh, normally you don't get this many uh, unmarked cars when it's just uh, a you know like a, an accident or anything like that so it looks like it's possibly uh, just a training day today which is uh, quite a strange one because uh, normally it's on a on a Wednesday but uh, you know the uh, the possibly could have moved it so you see uh, work is uh, going on with this building so I'm not too sure exactly what is going on but they've, uh, they've got like the uh, the crane going up there and uh, you see the uh, the wheels move out to the right, get out of the, the way a little. But you can see the uh, the truck. See all the uh, all the uh, wheels are off. We've got those clamps, which just uh, exports the uh, the whole crane in the air. And, uh, certainly a, a project that. So, not too sure what is going on. See ya. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I just spoke to the other uh, gentleman, and they're actually cleaning the uh, the gutters. So uh, it's, uh, that was uh, an interesting one. He's just telling me some fantastic stories. Yes, yeah, so they actually uh, they clean the gutters, uh, and they do many of these uh, guest houses and uh, B and Bs around this area. So I just approached near the uh, the Gin Roundabout, and. Uh, I did a video uh, a while ago on some of these uh, huge hotels along uh, this stretch of the, uh, the promenade. So you see the scaffolding is still up on a few, but work is avidly uh, going on. So that is uh, the end of today's video. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, bit of a walk around. So everything um, in regards to, uh, to Sainsbury's will be in the uh, description below um, if you do want to uh, have a bit of a, a light read on that one and see what the latest is. And until next time, take care of yourselves and it is a bye from me. Bye bye.